So we've learned a bit about how these seismic waves behave when they come across a boundary between two materials. Let's see how this helps us understand about the structure of the Earth. P waves are longitudinal waves and they can pass through solid or liquid. So for example, the P wave could pass through something liquid like the sea and it could pass through the solid underneath the sea as well. Now there are parts of the Earth which do not receive any P waves after an earthquake. So we set off this earthquake here. And we're using these dotted lines to represent our P waves which are passing through the Earth. Now let's follow the progress of these P waves. We see that there must be some kind of change in density here because the waves change direction. But we don't see any of that. What we do see, however, is that there is a part of the Earth that doesn't receive any P waves. So these parts of the Earth here don't receive P waves. Now, of course, we can't see the paths of these P waves through the Earth. Now, of course, we can't see these paths of these P waves through the Earth. All we can see is that there is a certain part of the Earth where no P waves are received. And what this implies to us is that the P waves must suddenly change direction. For example, we might ask, why didn't a wave manage to reach this part here? Well, it might be that the wave that was supposed to reach that part. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE physics and combined science videos, just click on the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.